Greetings, Exile. GGG recently dropped an incredible trailer for the Necropolis League, which makes me really hyped for it. So, to kick off our preparations for 3.24, I would like to present you guys with another crafting video, this time focusing on bleed bows. After that, I will tell you guys what content you can look forward from me in the upcoming league. Step 1. For this step, we'll require two bases, one hunter-influenced and the other elder-influenced. Ensure that at least one of the bases is a citadel bow with an item level of at least 83. We'll combine these two bases together using an Awakener Orb to achieve a Hunter and Elder Influence Citadel Bow. Step 2. Place perfect fossils inside primitive chaotic resonators and use them on your weapon until you reach 30% quality. Depending on your luck, this may take several tries. Step 3. Use Deafening Essence of Contempt until you hit Tier 1 Elder Prefix, which grants 51 to 59% damage over time multiplier for bleeding. Step 4. Utilize Orb of Annulment to remove all modifiers except for the specific prefixes we require. If, by mistake, any of the specific prefixes are removed, return to Step 3. Here's a tip. If you have an open suffix and only the two specific prefixes you need, you can craft... Prefixes cannot be changed and use a scouring orb. This clears all suffixes, leaving you with a base containing only the required prefix modifiers. Step 5. Craft prefixes cannot be changed and use a veiled orb. This will remove the crafted modifier and grant you a veiled modifier. Step 6. Check whether the veiled modifier you obtained is a prefix or a suffix. If it's a suffix, craft prefixes cannot be changed and use a scouring orb, then repeat step five. If it's a prefix, proceed to step seven. Step seven, unveil and check for a modifier that grants increased hybrid physical damage. This mod is always accompanied by chance to poison, bleed, blind, or impale, and appears about 95% of the time. Step eight, craft prefixes cannot be changed and use reforge physical from the harvest bench. Step 9. Check if you hit Tier 1 Faster Bleeding Hunter modifier. If yes, proceed to Step 10. Otherwise, repeat Step 8. Note. By the time you complete Step 9, you should have a decent enough weapon. Any further steps beyond this point are for min-maxing and will require a significant amount of currency. If you are satisfied with your craft up to this point, you can simply craft physical damage over time multiplier from the crafting bench and start using your weapon. Step 10. Craft cannot roll attack modifiers, then close your eyes and slam an exalted orb. Step 11. Open your eyes and check if you hit tier 1 damage over time multiplier. If yes, proceed to step 12. If not, use an orb of annulment to remove the unwanted modifier. If you accidentally remove the cannot roll attack modifiers, craft it again and retry. Then repeat steps 10 and 11. Step 12. Craft 20% to physical damage over time multiplier and use a tempering orb until you hit the enchantment which grants 8% increased explicit physical modifier magnitudes. If you happen to hit 10%, even better. If you found the guide helpful, please consider subscribing. There's much more content to come in the future. As for my plans for 3.24, first of all, Sir Bonks a lot, the literal stunning prodigy, will return stronger and better than ever. Next, I'll be recreating my bleed trap build and pushing it to endgame. After that, maybe some vigilant strike action. I'll be streaming all of this on my Twitch channel, so if you'd like, you can join and watch me there. As always, your support is greatly appreciated.